Hey guys, Nikos Kones here. So, here is another video on the Tomahawk. So, if you're new to this channel, we are basically doing HEMA uh, techniques showcase so you can learn martial arts by watching uh, videos online. Uh, we focus on HEMA, which is historical European martial arts. We occasionally do contact from Sistema and Kramaga, which are my other two interests. And, uh, well, Please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about in the comment section. Okay, so what we're going to do today, um, so we're going to basically work with the tomahawk and we're going to focus on uh, disarming techniques, so how to disarm a weapon and uh, how to counter a disarm. Um, through all the, we're going to show you three techniques, three different disarms, three different counters and you're going to see that there is always one system uh, which is basically uh, encompassing all these arms which is a circular motion, right? So it's basically something like this or like this, it's like a semicircle. Um, you, you can find this uh, principle in Fiore's manuscript in the uh, X section, it's an X, right? So the Fiore specifically says a half circle and a half circle and then you basically counter somebody right now show you the first disarm so the first disarm is when I'm basically outside of the X okay I'm holding it like this how do I come so let's say that I'm basically clinching striking okay and I want to disarm I grip it here I push and I come in this position okay now what is the principle same with the dagger I basically uh, pull the X down and pull it up. So I go directly into the biceps here. My finish moves, because I have it in a reverse high choke, I just smash into the throat, then grip it, two hands, and finish. This is the first, uh, first disarm. How to counter it? I think it should go from the other side. So, okay. yeah, so I basically grip it here. Okay, let's do this. And I just do a semicircle. See, her hand gets into a Z lock. Okay, and cut the other arm. Strike into the throat push and finish okay so this is the first disarm and the counter to the first disarm the second one is well again I'm here but I basically get the X here okay then with this one I go here of course as I'm fighting I'm kneeing I'm striking I'm pushing all of this stuff I grip it, grip it here, I turn, put her hand in a Z-lock, push, disarm, and of course, finish. Okay? So this is basically disarm. As she's doing the uh, same thing for me, let's go here. Right, so this is basically the action. What I have to do, I have to grip it here as deeply as I can. Push to strive to her balance and go inside the semicircle, Z-locking and finishing again. Okay, one more time. Grip, push to start the balance, Z-lock, push, cut and go again. Of course, during all these techniques, knee strikes. Okay, headbutts, right? Use other weapons. So this is the first two disarms. Uh, going into the third one. Third one is when I'm having my axe in two hands, and she grips it, and she pulls, and she basically takes it away from me. And then I'm fucked, literally. Oops. Can I say that on YouTube? 
I don't know. Okay, so as she is pulling, I go with her into her direction, which basically has a chance of compressing her and breaking a little bit her structure. Okay, so she pulls, then I do a semicircle again, and then see her hands are getting z locked, push down, and push in. Okay, same principle. Hoop, shliak. Okay. So the first design is like literally, you know, pulling, kicking, getting it um, fucked, and it's mostly a basic matter of strength. What we don't want to do, normal reflex when she starts pulling, is for me to pull, and who is stronger, right? That's bad. I follow, Z lock, and finish with a strike. Okay guys, so, this is like three disarms of Tomahawk, one center, one from the outside, one from the inside, and three counters of disarms. So this is Nico's Corner, uh, we do Hima and Sistema and Kamaga techniques in this video on the channel. Uh, please like and subscribe, share it, um, let me know what you want to see next into the comment section, and uh, looking forward to see your reactions. Thank you very much.